Here you go, Zyla. Thank you. Talk about poolside service, huh? <laughs> Person doing sliding. sliding hey didn't you just get a slide at Lolo and Lola's house yeah my parents and I both pitched in to get a little playground for their backyard so her and anyone who visits like JD can play right oh should we show them a couple clips of the playground from Lolo and Lola's house yeah all right say roll the clips roll the clips <laughs> Hi. Hi, are you there? Are you? Wee! Hi, Sila. Hey. I'm gonna go on this thing. This leg, this side. I can show you. Okay. Okay. You climb up your ladder. Okay. Okay. Mommy, I want to help all by myself. Okay, you got it all by yourself. Let's see. There you go. You did it, Zyla. I did it all by myself. Yes, you did. But I, I did it all by myself. Wow, high yeah. five. High five, Zy. Nice job, baby. Mmm, masara. <laughs> masara? What does that mean? I'm sitting on the bottom. Good idea. Ayla, did you know that masarap means delicious in Tagalog? Fresh in Tagalog. Remember fresh in Tagalog? Spanish. Oh, Spanish is delicioso. Yeah. Can you say delicioso? Delicioso. Delicioso. No! <laughs> okay, and then what about Tagalog? Tagalog. Is masarap. Alright, what book do we have, Zyla? I'm about to read it. Okay, let's can, read it. Can you hold this side? Sure, I'll hold this side. I will hold this side. Okay. Stretching arms and legs out long, ballet dancers must be... Strong. Strong. Five sessions. In ballet, we'll review them all today. Next, we plie and chasse. Pirouette. Pirouette. Petite. Petite chete. Petite chete. Last rehearsal for the show. Get it right from head to toe. Head to toe. We hope our show will be a hit. He's tied it by a carpet. Yes. Say a little book. I'm a ballerina. Yay. Can we, can we read this again? Yeah. Can we read this again? Of course we can. All right, Zyla. What are we going to do? Are we going to go swimming? Yay! Yay! Let's put on your swimsuit. Yay! Let's do it. Come on, let's get on your swimsuit. Ooh. Okay. So I don't get my shirt wet, okay? okay? Perfect. Sounds great. Are we gonna splash, splash, splash? Yeah! <laughs> Here you go, Zyla. Thank you. Talk about poolside service, huh? <laughs> Just put on your tab, all right? <laughs> last name? What was your last name, ma'am? What's your last name? What's your last name? Alvarado. Oh, Alvarado. Okay, okay, we'll put it on there. I'll be sure to put it on your tab, ma'am. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to tip your waiters. All right, all right. Let me know if you need anything else. My name's Carissa, and I'm happy to help you. <laughs> okay, all right. There he goes that. I'm sorry. I have to deal with 
that tomorrow, I guess. We got these fun little relationship conversation starter cards from Amazon. And uh, we're gonna get to know each other even more. Yeah. Join us. All right. I guess these will prove how well we really do know each other. I'm not nervous. Would you like to travel more or less than we currently do? <laughs> currently? I would love to travel more. <laughs> I would love that. I think we all want to. But once it's safe, I can't wait to get back out and, and travel more like we used to. I was just talking about this on my stream, actually. Like, Chris and I toured a lot with us, the duo. There were some years we'd be on the road for like 250 days out of the year. That's true. And we haven't gone anywhere in obviously over a year or so, so we definitely miss traveling and we have the travel itch right now, definitely. I would say. For sure. Okay, my turn. Your turn. What's the best thing you learned from your mother? Wow. There's so many things I've learned from my mother. The first thing that came to my brain, I'll say that one, is how to cook. My mom is an excellent cook. She is so yes, good is. at it. And I have great memories of us being in the kitchen together and her showing me around her recipes and just teaching me all the techniques. What's your favorite thing that your mom makes? Oh, that is tough. I love her cookies. She makes amazing cookies, but she, yeah. when it comes to savory food, delicious things. All right, question okay. for you. What's your perfect idea of a date? Exactly, the question said, what's your idea of the perfect date? But it all made sense. I'm, you know, I'm a pretty simple person. Honestly, just a nice dinner and maybe, you know, go to the beach and just watch the sunset. Mm. Anything we do together. As long as I'm with you. Uh, okay. Enough of the cheese, huh? I cheese want to Louise. Look. I figured if I turned left and saw your face, it would have been scary. <laughs> She'd give up that. <laughs> Show them what, what I... This is what you have to live with. What hobbies did you enjoy when you were young, but no longer do? <laughs> Basketball! You saw how I just dribbled and spun right in your face? <laughs> Blap. Playing basketball. All right. I used to want to be a professional basketball player. Like most kids my age, uh, back in the 90s, Michael Jordan was my idol. And I tried out for the high school team, and I got cut right at the very Aww. end. But it was a blessing in disguise, because at that point, I turned all my focus to music. Yes. Shout out to that coach. Thank you to that coach for denying. <laughs> when one to door closes, another, another one, one opens. opens. The saying. That's the old saying. All right, here's a question for you. Okay. What's the best thing you learned from your father? Whoa, my dad, daddy -o? Oh, I learned a lot of great things from him. What's the best? <sighs> the best thing from my father that I've learned is to try and do your very best at whatever it is that you want to do in life. He's always supported me to follow my dreams as a dancer and actor and singer. And he's always been there helping me rehearse. When I was rehearsing for competitions and things, he was kind of like my coach too. Um, so he's always just encouraged me to go for my dreams. And I'm really lucky to have that support. There's so many, I'll stop there. So but many. Love you, dad. If you were heading out on a road trip right this minute, what would you pack? Oh. Right now. We're going on a road trip. What are you packing? I'm packing a small bag. I'm putting some some underwear in there. I'm putting a basic outfit. Some toilet toothbrush. A to toilet toothbrush. Uh, a toilet. Uh, I'm frazzled. It's all so <laughs> Hurry, cool. hurry. You gotta go now. <laughs> a toothbrush and um, some toiletries. <laughs> and then after that, I'll be like, all right, what does Xyla need? That'll be my next thought. And oh, then yes. it's usually like, all right, car seat. Get it in there. Make sure it's good. Uh, does she have all of her bags? How, how many do I need to carry down? You're probably rushing in to like get all of the diapers ready and yeah. the, um, the clothes and like, and then I'll pack the sound machines <laughs> and the cameras and then we'll get it all in the Parent car. Life. 
And then we'll think about food at the very last minute. We'll yeah. get her milk and the perishable items into an iced bag. And um, and then probably at that point, you'll be like, all right, what am I going to pack? And at this point, the road trip, it's already done. Is and it like over? The people left us and oh, man. it's done. But yeah, we're that's just standing just... outside with all the bags and we're like... Dude, that, isn't that parent life though? Where whenever we go anywhere, we have to pack like that and be like, "All right, do we have everything? Where do we have her her sound machine thing, uh, the monitor?" Whenever we're dropping her off at mom and dad's house or something, and it's a lot. A lot goes into packing when you a have a kid. Into but it's great. It is it's great. Fun. What was your proudest moment from the past twelve months? Oh. Proudest moment. Wow. And maybe not the proudest moment, what, but what just popped in your head right now when I said that? There's a lot of little proud moments I have as a mother when I see Zyla do something and I just feel like she's learning so fast and, and she's learning empathy. So when I see her understand what that is and, you know, care about what other people are feeling, it makes me really happy and it means that we're doing all right and we're doing our best try to teach her all those things to be a good person so yeah she makes me really proud proud to be her mama nice one last, one last question let's wrap it up one last question let's do it what's one mistake you keep repeating oh my gosh it could be small I've repeated this mistake year after year when I get really busy I neglect drinking water I feel like it's a chore that I overlook and I'm like, oh, I'm too busy to drink water. And then I stop drinking it, and then my body feels the fact that there's no water in it. Mm -hmm. I am in that phase right now. And that's <laughs> why thirsty. I answered that question that way, because I know I need water. I just got off the phone with somebody I trust for my business, and they were like, you need to drink more water. They were like, we do this every year. Why don't you keep drinking water? So you heard it here, YouTube. I'm going to start drinking more water this year. Keep them accountable. Keep me accountable. Just whenever you comment something of it on his or on Just the Just put channel. hydrate in all caps. Hydrate! Yes. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get him some water. <laughs> Hope y'all had a great week and enjoy your day. We love you. See you soon. Bye! <laughs>